So the last month has been just the opposite. Maybe the last three weeks has been just the opposite of the early part of the season when we couldn't get rain at all. And now we are just overwhelmed with rain. It's just like the pond got filled up a couple weeks ago completely and everything else has just been saturated pretty much ever since the last three days or so have been nothing but rain constantly like pretty heavy rain i would say we've gotten well judging by that bucket out there i would say probably at least six inches i know it probably seems like i'm always complaining about the weather but this is just crazy i mean we had a drought for the first three and a half months of the season and now for the last month or so we've had just the complete opposite, just like constant rain, like tons of rain, non-stop. It's overwhelming. It's just crazy. So this is the extent that my turmeric grew. Uh, I pulled the main tubers off, but you can see there's sort of new tubers growing from underneath here, but they just didn't get very far before the end of the season, which is tonight. And this is harvest of lemongrass, what's left of my lemongrass. And this is that uh, water spinach, what's left of that. It's all gonna get blasted. Well, actually the lemongrass would probably be okay, but I doubt it's gonna grow that much more for the rest of the season. It's, it's hardy enough in, uh, a light frost. It really needs like a hard frost before it gets killed. And uh, what's interesting to me is this is the lemongrass variety here that I brought from a seed exchange in St. Petersburg. And you can see it's got kind of like a redder stem than this stuff, which is the stuff I got from the Asian market. And this stuff from the Asian market actually like grows in these separate chunks that they sell in the store. So pretty much when you buy this in the store, you're getting just this main stem, which is very white in the middle. So they break off really easily. Whereas this one is not quite as uh, divided up into obvious segments as that one is, at least from what I can tell. So it's interesting. It's probably a hybrid or something that was specifically selected to be grown and harvested easily. That's what I'm guessing. I think I'm going to leave this in for the night and see how it does. I'm also not sure about this chaya. I'm pretty sure that this is going to get blasted by frost. But you can see how big it grew in just one season. It's like as big as a shrub from just one little stem, one little stick of the stem. And it's been flowering all season and bugs come along, insects come along and they pollinate it. They seem to like it. These don't even need soaking, and you can just boil them, cook them like you would already soaked beans. 
And look at this. This is just, this is a lot of beans to eat. And uh, these would have just gone to waste had I not grabbed them and shelled them. No reason not to get all the, all the beans off. I mean, you can even do this with like green beans that have gone too far. You can shell them. They tend to be fine. They're just like dry beans. So a lot of people don't know that. They don't realize, but they're missing out on a pretty good, what could be a good harvest. Thank you. 